There are no less than a thousand reasons why you should play on leechess.org instead of chess.com, but the number one reason is the number of cheaters on chess.com. Most of them get banned pretty quickly, but some accounts have been cheating for years without repercussions. In this video, I'm going to expose how blatantly obvious some of the cheating is, how blind chess.com is to them, and how anyone could cheat as much as they wanted without getting banned. Let's start. This is my alt account. I mostly play online bullet arenas here on chess.com. I win most of my games, but I always start with a troll opening where I switch my king and queen, and it gets pretty crazy positions, and it's pretty interesting trying to survive um, against strong players like this. Here's my best rated win ever. This is my opening, I move my king up, switch my king and queen, and then try to survive. I develop my pieces, try to stay solid, try to trade pieces to simplify. My opponent allows me to lock the position, which is always good. I'm at least equalized, and I have a good bind. We trade some pieces, which is good. I try to trade queens, I get my king out of danger, trade more pieces, he wins a pawn, but I win a pawn back, I attack all the pawns, here I see that there's a pin, so I end up winning all his pawns over here, try to not allow any tricks, I win a rook, I miss some queen trades, and I miss some checkmates, but there's a time scramble, and eventually I do win the game. So this is uh, how I play on this account, I switch my king and queen. Now let's look at some of my private messages. I've been playing since like 2020 and ever since then I get these private messages from chess.com basically saying that they've detected that some people have cheated and they're giving me rating points back. I play on and off whenever I feel like uh, I don't really care about the games but recently I started playing a little bit more and 18 days ago uh, I, I got four messages basically saying that four, four cheaters have been banned so I've been playing f cheaters pretty much every session there isn't a single hour that I play that I don't get cheaters 14 days ago, 9 days ago, 2 days ago and even pretty recently as you can see so these are the ones that are getting banned though and also Let's take a look at some of my recent games. These are my losses. There are some cheaters here and there, a bunch of them. There's another Fabio, Fabio on Blitz, some other guys, and there's a little streak of seven losses only to cheaters. And uh, here again, almost six in a row, only to cheaters. So I do play a lot of them. And here's an example of this person winning girl it's not they are not banned yet but i'm almost certain they're cheating so let's take a look at my first game against them against this account so i start with my opening and i continue they develop sure they're not actually making the best moves every time which is why i don't think they're getting banned so fast but what gave it away so what gave it away was that i saw that these move times over here, these white lines are the move times for every move. In the opening, they take like two seconds every move for some reason, which should be the part where you play the quickest. But over here, at some point, you see that it changes. And from here on out, it's 0 0.7, 0 0.7, 0 0.7, 0 0.7, 0 0.7, 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.7. It's like they're not thinking for more than a second eventually they do think a little bit more but there's some streaks where it's just the move times are so symmetrical and flat that it, it just I, I i thought they were cheating now they don't make every move cheat like a, a bot but this um this is what got me suspicious so here's the game it's a pretty equal position but i do end up on the ring and i get checkmated so Here's the next game I play against the same person now that I think they're cheating. I play the system, which is which can be very good against bots. It's basically the hippo. And what this thing does is every time the cheater tries to break through, I just lock the position, just like that. And I just wait. I just make random moves. I just wait and the, the computer never does anything because nothing really works technically. Humans obviously would try to sneak in and sacrifice eventually, but 
uh, since this shit is always playing uh, moves like with with the time you see the black the black lines here are like 0 0.7 0 0.6 it's like 0 0.3 they're never pre-moving but they're all they're always playing moves a little bit slower which is my technique here is I try to run them out of time and we almost repeat it three times but I wanted to win this game and eventually because my knight on e2 is undefended eventually um, they take it for free and I try to make some moves here but they do end up breaking through and fortunately I went on time so I was able to beat a cheater on time <laughs> so I'm pretty happy about that okay here's a and, and just in case you're not convinced that this person is actually cheating I'm gonna try to actually prove it much more conclusively so here's um, this person, winning girl, playing against a known cheater. Okay. The first couple of moves are pretty normal. Also notice the black smooth. Black moves here are literally like one second to two seconds. Like, and they're super flat. This is like one, one, one. And white actually probably plays some of their own moves, actually. So first of all, white loses a pawn in the center gets his queen kicked around, gets attacked a, a whole bunch. And eventually black was also cheating, a known cheater, wins up here, wins, trades rooks and wins a bishop. And then white gets forked. And now white says, all right, let's turn on the engine. I'm losing, try to save it. And from now on, white's, white's move times are from 0.3 to 0.8 for the rest of the game 0.3 to 0.8 never pre-moving never thinking for more than a second and also playing some very very good moves so this and notice white's move times over here are always from 0.3 to 0.8 and they're also playing they're not blundering pieces or anything they're actually playing as well as they could to delay the loss and here, because black's bot is a little bit slower, white wins on time. And notice the last couple moves. Of course, 0 0.4, 0 0.4, 0 0.4. No human, no, no, just no human plays like this, basically. Let's take a look at, um, I think this, yeah, this is the uh, evaluation graph. Obviously, black's cheating, so it's just a perfect game. And white just is able to play very, very quickly. Here's another example. Winning girl is white. Okay, nothing too crazy here, but I want to point out something. Here, white is much better, just has to take the bishop, but they end up sacking a knight for no reason, playing bishop b5 for pretty much no reason. And from here on out, it's again a flat move, just flat moves, no more than like a second thinking for white like from now on and also I checked this all white's moves are in the top three of stockfish moves here from now on less than a second think every move and top three stockfish moves not always the best but top three okay white's surviving quite a lot notice black's time is running running down and here black's at three seconds and he was pre-moving king a5 and ends up blundering a promotion and notice also white's time never thought for less than a second now think about this if you could ever play such a crazy game even magnus without thinking for more than a second in like in like in like 25 moves never thinking for more than a second and playing best moves like this this i'm pretty I'm pretty convinced this person's cheating. Here's another example. I played this person. They joined on February. I played. I played them before. Here's our first game. Uh, this person's black, and of course, right off the bat, one second, 0 0.9, 0 0.9, 8, 0 0.8, one. It's like in the opening, you try to play fast. You don't take like a second for all these moves. Oh yeah, here I th I thought he was just gonna block, and I I never imagined he would actually move the king. What kind of person moves their king here? I have no idea. Anyway, 
And with this person, once again, they're not their bot is not actually playing the best moves every time. But you can just see by the move times. I can just tell every move is like between one and two seconds. It's like everything flat, no thing for more than two seconds, like ever. But never pre-moving also. So and here uh, pretty soon I just end up I try to kind of catch them like sometimes if uh, if cheaters like are, are bots and I play a move like this sacrificing my queen and they take in 0.1 seconds like unexpected moves like that it's like more evidence so I play another unexpected move they even take the knight I try to sack my bishop they try to take it but of course they don't even take it because you just check my king and also here this is the only mate in two surprisingly bishop f2 is the only checkmate in two and checkmate and of course they never pre-move they never think for more than two seconds so now that i i could i was already suspicious that they were cheating so i played my um, anti-cheat opening this doesn't always work but if their bots are like a little bit less uh, perfect this can be very good so I pretty much lock the position and I just have to waste moves and just try to win on time. And here he plays a weird move, 98, which is already just like, there's, come on, come on, who plays that? But I, I end up surviving a little bit more. He does end up getting through. I, I'm, I'm not defending all my points perfectly because it, obviously it's a one minute game. He ends up winning some pawns. I try to survive as much as possible. Try to give a sneaky check. All his moves are in like one second. Nothing, nothing different. Every single move. Okay, and eventually he ends up panicking because he has like a couple seconds left, and he makes some quicker moves, but he ends up losing on time. And this is how I beat my second cheater. Actually, this was before the previous, but yeah, I beat basically two cheaters like this, which is nice. And they're also not banned, by the way. And, and let me just let me just show once again. Look at the whites move times. One second, one second. Like nobody plays like this. You at least make a pre move or something. But it's just pretty obvious. Like it's super obvious that this is a cheater. And I think you should be convinced just by the move times. All right. Here's another example. I haven't played this person, but I noticed him from a long time ago. He's joined in 2017. And once again, this person doesn't play the top moves. He has a pretty strong computer, but not perfect. And um, the thing about him to try to notice, unknown player, is that in almost no game, I challenge you to try to find any game where this player thinks for more than two seconds on any move for more than two seconds in a bullet game. You'll find maybe one move, but try to find one with two moves where he thinks for over two seconds. All right, let's 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 just show this game. Yeah, obviously not the best moves. And just some weird random moves. Probably this is why he avoids cheat detection, but you can just tell by the move times. They're all pretty flat, never too quick, never too slow. I challenge you, if you're doubting this, I challenge you to try to play a game with such a flat of a thinking time, like a second every move. Try to play a second every move pretty much exactly. You'll you'll not do it. You'll have to think at least one move for more than more than a second or two. Okay, so he wins on time this game. Now, let's take a look at another, another example. A known player is black and he's playing against a known cheater. All right, let's take a look and notice Black's moves, they're never more than two seconds on the right. All right, he ends up winning. All right, let's take a look at another example. This is another cheater, known cheater, account closed, and white here wins. And now look at these move times, they're like... Yeah, I mean, they're 0.1 in the opening, maybe, I don't, I don't know, they're just some sort of system, who knows. He he just uh, lets um, the rook get taken, but it doesn't really get taken. So there are two known cheaters, and now look, look at the white move times here. One second, 1.4, it's so flat, like even black's pretty flat. 
and eventually black starts thinking for some reason and white is just always less than two seconds this whole game basically less than two seconds every single move no matter how complicated these positions are it's always less than two seconds and eventually he ends up checkmating so he beats a cheater never thinks for more than two seconds all right now let's take there, there are more examples like this but let, let's take a look at this one again from 2017 golden tomato and this guy mostly plays three check and I'm pretty, pretty sure that he's been cheating in 3-check. Here's an example where I think is two cheaters playing against each other with a golden tomato being as the suspect here. So this is a pretty standard opening. And I'm actually going to switch to leeches for this because leeches can analyze um, variant openings. And here it is. This is the game imported into leeches. Some of these mistakes in the beginning, they're not actually mistakes, they're just standard theory. This is a very good move. That's the, that's the best move. So a lot of these mistakes aren't even mistakes, it's just the depth isn't high enough. Okay, so here, c3 is the best move, I analyzed this before. And this c over here, d4, now this, uh, this could be just theory, so I can't say it's cheating just because of this. But let's keep going. Okay, not technically, but I mean, it's still pretty good. Still keeping the advantage here, as you can see, always keeping the advantage. But let's take a look at some of these moves. Now here, you'll notice h4 is the top computer move for some reason here. And of course, white plays it. And then h5, of course, white plays it. And h6, white plays it. Okay, sure. Knight h4 also, um, if we let this thing for a little bit, Knight h4 will go up. Yeah, I mean, okay, there it is. So knight h4 is now the top move, and that's what he plays. And now look at this move, d7, for some reason just giving up that random pawn. Top move, of course. f3, how many of you would play f3 in 3-check here? Top move. All right, now look at this one, knight takes g6, top move, played by white and also black's playing pretty perfect moves too by the way but we're focusing on white so rook h4 top move sure uh, so, uh, rook takes f4 is pretty funny but rook g4 is just as good and of course bishop h4 one of the top moves and here actually let's go back look at the move times he's thinking for quite a bit i think he's switching between maybe even lee chess and chess.com just copying the moves he's thinking for like pretty f actually it's pretty flat it's never more never really less but eventually over here after the queen sack he gets low on time he has 30 seconds so he has to somehow make moves very quickly so maybe he's playing by himself from now on because the moves aren't really perfect they're pretty good but they're not perfect Rook g6, only move to delay mate by the most amount of moves. And eventually, white wins. And also, I just want to note, he has 3.5 seconds left. So most of those moves were literally um, the top moves on leeches, on the leeches computer, or one of them. So that should might be at least reason to suspect i'm i'm sure there's more games i can't really find them all but in like three minute games like this i think he's been shitting for quite a while all right now let's take a look at this example ebony 568 made an account like uh, a couple months ago and he plays of course variants and now that we got here this is the key to Cheating on chess.com as much as you want without getting banned is to cheat in variants because they don't have any computer to verify if, if the moves are the best or not. Of course, they can go to Lee Chess, but I mean, chess.com hates Lee Chess, so why would they go there? But anyway, this person cheats in variants quite a lot. But let's take a look at some games. I haven't proven it yet, so let's take a look at some games. So this is a one minute crazy house game over here. And take a look at Black's move times. 
just just a graph for now 0.3 0.2 0.3 0.2 0.2 0.4 0.3 0.1 0 0.5 0 0.3 0.4 0 0.3 0 0.4 0 0.6 0 0.6 oh, no no that's that's why 0 0.4 0 0.2 0 0.2 0 0.6 does he ever think for more than a second this, this is a crazy house game and um let me just uh show whoops uh let me just take my camera out of the way and yeah you can see till the end of the game he never thinks for more than a second. Now let's take a look at this game and think if any human could play this whole game as black without thinking for more than a second, or usually more than 0.5 seconds, let's be honest. So he takes, he places a knight on g5, he takes, he places a bishop over there, he takes back, takes that, sacrifices and places a knight and then check and then pawn and then rook place checkmate last couple last one two three four five moves are in 0.1 seconds so basically instantly probably because the bot calculated a mate so it didn't have to think anymore so now think about this would you ever even if you know the future if you, even if you could just see the future and even slow down time would you be able to play all those moves so perfectly and all under in one second like there, there's no way now let's take a look at some more examples of course these are some of the worst examples i found for his case now I'll take a look at black smooths again there's this one that he made in one second but the rest are like pretty instant now let's take a look at the game all right pretty standard opening place bishop on h5 in 0.6 seconds Knight at a four takes, takes. Well, here you'd probably at least think for one second about moving the knight. Actually, that this where you talk for one second exactly. He takes, gets out of check, and places and plays all this whole combination. And uh, the last like five moves are in point one seconds, of course. So. Think about if you would be able to play that. Here's another example, one minute crazy house game. And uh, look at Black's moves. Again, less than one second, 16 moves, less than one second. Let's take a look at the game and think if any reasonable human with superpowers and even like, like superpowers, like telling the future, anything, you could play all these moves in less than a second. Like, look at this. Like, who would pre-move king takes f7? He played king takes f7 in half a second. Getting out of checks. Knight on, knight on h4. To defend, also the yeah, to defend these squares, because white's going to put a white's going to put a knight there, probably, and check the king. So he defends that, defends pretty much perfectly. Perfect defense here. Intermediate move, knight takes g2 check, played in 0.5 seconds. And... He doesn't even take the queen here. So this knight here can take the queen, which he just lost, but he doesn't even take the queen because he sees there is a checkmate. And um, yep, all those moves, let me just uh, remove my camera, yep, just less than a second. All right, now let's take a look at this last example. This last example is is the, the creme of the crop. White is playing this person, which is also a cheater, and uh, not banned, of course. Yep, not banned. But this game, this this just takes the cake. Look at White's moves. They're all like they're instant. Let me just remove the camera for one second again. They're all instant. White's moves like they don't even exist. Look at this. They're all instant. Now let's go over the game because this is a pretty crazy game actually. So, so what what just happened here? White's playing instantly, like he took that, played pawn at e6 in 0.3 seconds. Took queen e2, defending the bishop. Also, he had the bishop hanging here technically, but it's probably bad. Queen e2. He doesn't take the knight back. He doesn't take the knight back here. He plays pawn at b7 to remove the defender of this pawn. And takes the pawn because the pawn is eyeing these squares. 
black defends the knight and sets up something white in um, 0.3 seconds plays this move to try to place a knight here or something or to get to get his bishop in and space for pieces castles and here this is a discovered attack on the queen but of course white doesn't do that and doesn't defend against it doesn't move as any normal human would so he plays rook t1 which is actually also a very good move he sacrifices the queen places the bishop and like also well, that was 0.4 seconds placing like every move here knight bishop there there's a rook sack on d6 because knight's defending this square as you'll see and now rook check check also notice if black goes here, there's a checkmate. Check. And if here, there's probably something. Yeah, there's probably knight over here checking the king and then probably some sort of checkmate. I don't really see it, but I'm sure there's something. But anyway, this game ends in a draw by repetition. This is one of the 0.01% of crazy house that ends in a draw between two cheaters. Okay, so now that you've seen all this evidence that I've shown and all these players not getting banned, my question to you, chess.com, is how the fuck can you be so blind as to not notice that people playing moves instantly are not fucking humans? They're bots. Chess.com, get your shit together.